In this world, we have been left behind by the gods of Olympus. After defeating the great titans, Zeus, Hades, Poseidon, and the other gods have returned to their Acropolis above, but not before making their mark. Now their children seek to prove themselves and survive against the dangerous world of mythical beasts, monsters, and worse. Welcome to Origins of Olympus. Mom. <laughs> ah! Oh, hey! Why are you sleeping outside my door? Ah. Uh, the bad is, I don't know. I remember walking you home last. And then. I came here. No, I came here with you, and you went inside. I said goodnight. You said goodnight. And then. I guess I must have fell asleep here. But your your cabin's like right there. When didn't you go? I don't know. You wore me out. I was all tired. Yikes. Okay. Well, do you want to come in? Uh, sure, sure. Okay. So, I I know last night I said that we deal the problems in the morning. Yeah. Uh, but to be honest, I don't really know what problems we're having. So if um, we could go run it back real quick. Get, just get on the same page. What, what's what's the problems we got? What, okay. What's on the checklist? Because I mean, Let's I gotta help you with this now. Start from beginning to end. We have Silo. We have Brian. We have Split Bree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does sound like problems. Feels good to what's be back though. What's your problem though? with Silo? My problem with Silo? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I. Don't Cause I got a, a problem with Zylo, but I don't have a huge problem, I guess. Now that I know that it wasn't really him, but well, I, I don't know if things are gonna be the same now. I mean, in a way, it was kind of him, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it looks like he's, you know, not really affected by Brian anymore. So that's a good thing. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know how any of that works, to be honest with you. I just don't know how much he remembers from last night and the fact that he stood me up, because it seems like he doesn't really remember that. Well, we can talk to him or something, I'm sure. And then we have Brian. I have to deal with him. I don't know where he went. Yeah, I mean, I saw him for a brief second, and then he just, he, he looked really bad, and then poof, he was gone, and... I don't know what happened. Like, so. I'm concerned where he is, but I'm still shocked that he would not even take my feelings into consideration. I mean, I'm more just kind of, why would he throw a tornado at his own ball just he lost? Yeah, I mean, I know that he's getting bad and whatnot, but I don't know. What's what's wrong with him? He just, I don't know what's wrong with him. He just always... I have a suspicion it has to do something with him gathering a lot of power. So his power makes him 
mean, uh, I guess. Makes him mean? He's focused on power, so he doesn't really care about other people's feelings. So, And I mean, he did say a comment remark back there that he said um, something about needing more power, and so. Um, okay, so we had to deal with that. And I guess our last problem would be the other form of you that's currently running around, probably trying to either murder me or Zylo and or both of us. Um, I can't see her trying to kill you, but I don't really know what's up with her at the moment. She seems pretty yeah, mad. I guess I mean, I'm not the only one that knows the secret anymore. She definitely doesn't like Silo anymore, though. Well, I mean... Huh. I mean, okay. Uh... I, I don't know if I opened up to you at all last night. Um, to be honest, the whole like beginning part of the ball is kind of all a blur. Yeah, I mean, uh, I gathered that much. Well, okay, look, I was hurt, okay? Yeah, so was I. Well, I, mean, I was hurt before you, though. I guess, yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I mean me and Zylo literally talked like 20 minutes before that. He knew I was going to try to ask you, and I don't know. He just said, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It kind of hurt. I am pretty hurt, too, because being that the whole thing has been explained to him, he still hasn't apologized or anything, so I probably still meant nothing to him, which really hurts, because he's been pretty misleading. I mean, yeah, Zylo... He has been kind of misleading. He's he's been different. I don't know what's wrong with him or what's different about him, but he he's been different. And I mean, he didn't drink any tomb juice, though. I don't think. No, but the sword definitely affected him for the worse. And the sword? No, the sword that Brian was holding. Oh, oh. That one. Oh, we're talking about Brian now. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm on the same page now. We're focused on the fact that besides he had the sword affect him, I, it, it's kind of weird because he didn't really seem all that different in my eyes, even though the sword was supposedly making him um, be in love with people who he wasn't. It kind of seems like that's how he is without the sword anyways. So, so you think he's the same person with and without the sword? Kind of. I mean, it's like little signs like when the Split Bree asked him to the ball, he didn't really seem that excited. And, well, um, I mean, he said yeah. He's pretty chummy, though, with lots of people. What do you mean? He's just chummy. What, what's chummy mean? Can you use it in a sentence? Like, is it a noun, adjective, verb? Like, Mario was pretty chummy with Kayla at the ball. So, you're saying Zylo tries to go after multiple people? I'm not going to say it's intentional, but it seems like a little bit like a part of his personality where they don't see that they're doing anything wrong and it's an accident and they don't really realize what they're doing. And I, I could yeah. be wrong. Maybe he really just doesn't really care at all about me. I mean, I don't know about that. I think he has to have some kind of care for you. You know, like, he said yes to you, even though we and him talked about it. I guess. Okay, look, I'm going to be straight up with you. In the vision, you two were, you know, and, uh... I don't you guys were, know what you know means. Not, you, guys, you guys were, you know. Like, no. Like, you know, like, you know. No. <laughs> like, uh, like, okay, uh, you know, like, like that. Like, like a frog and the princess? Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 definitely like that. Okay. Oh, you mean like it, you it, saw it, us together? Yeah, I did. Why and everything else came true. Uh, I saw you with the weird tattoo thingies, Evil Bree, you. Uh, but I also saw Evil Bree being slain by a sword, or an axe, actually. Along yeah. with uh, Richie and Michael. I don't know if you've noticed this or not. Um, 
uh, but they just aren't here and they haven't been here in a very long time like they're just not here you're right i haven't heard much from them at all they kind of just straight up abandoned me and they were being slain by the same axe thing that you, evil you was and i don't know i followed this whole path and there was oracle little people and i killed the oracle like probably 30 times or so. so now you decided to tell me the full vision Okay, look, I didn't want to just bring it up. It's hard to bring it up. I kind of wish was... I would have known. Maybe maybe Split Breed would have understood and not even asked Silo at all. Well, I didn't see anything bad like that. Like, it looked like you guys really liked each other. Yeah, well, and, yeah, I mean... He definitely probably doesn't see me that way, so I wouldn't worry too much. I don't know, because everything else in my vision's come true so far. Yeah, well... I saw Zylo, you burned his cabin down. I'm not sure how I feel right now. I'm just really, really hurt. I know that Maybe. Maybe it wasn't really real because Brian was manipulating him and all, but for the you know, time... Maybe you're just hungry. Hung hungry? How about I go get us breakfast and I'll be right back and we can we can figure out what we're going to do first. Um, Okay. What do you want? Um, I, I don't know. You can have sausage. You can have bacon. You can have eggs. You can have a uh, omelet. You can have a. Uh, uh, about like toast or roll. something. I'll get you a cinnamon roll, some bacon, and. Mm, guavo punch. Yeah. Be back. Okay. Um. I'll, I'll be back in like 15 minutes. Uh, take your. Hey, Bree! Uh, um. What's wrong with you? What do you mean? What do you think? What are you. Yeah, it wore off. That's good to hear. Yeah. At the ball? Does this remind you? Yeah, I'm aware. I know what I gave you. Why? Because it's not to harm you, it's because of Brian. I just wanted to stop Brian. I feel like there's other ways you could have done that. Literally no other way. Have you seen how much power he's had? I, not really, just he's powerful with his Aphrodite magic. No, he's but... powerful in more than one way, and I don't really think there was another way to stop him. Alright, well... You didn't need to force a love potion on me. I mean, I don't know why you're on my doorstep. Shouldn't you be on Brian's doorstep first? But yeah, he's missing or something. I don't know. Okay. And well, I didn't really trust him beforehand. Yeah. I don't know. I'd... Yeah. You don't know? No, not no. I'm not so every really... time something's not going your way, you're just going to put a love potion down no, and no, make sure no. everything's better? No, not at all. This is like, I guess, a one case scenario where I had to do something to stop my brother. Yeah. Great. You're thinking about stopping him instead of how I might feel about the situation. I see. Well, at least it helped you to war off from his spell. So if anything, I feel like I helped you. Help me. Then you shot a fireball in my face. Well, I don't know. You don't know. Seriously, first you, you know, seem to like me and everything. Then, then you don't. Then you give me a love potion and you shoot a fireball at me. What is wrong with you? I mean, take it from my perspective. I thought you were interested and then I ask you and then you don't go with me. So I was hurt the whole time. And then here I am thinking that... You're only interested because of a potion, and believe me, that is my wrong, but... Well, maybe cause... before the potion, I was. Oh, you're here to break another heart, are you? <sighs> well, break, break the heart again. No, just get well, out mine of here. wasn't this good enough for you, Zylo. What? Oh, nothing, nothing. This isn't about you, all right? Yeah, you're just over here yelling. <sighs> what are you, you mad about anyways? Do you know what she did? No, you I know mistakes really happen, right? Like it's, it's like something someone learns from. And if anything, honestly, it's really yes, they happen. But you seem Wait, like the person crying? who would be what? against that sort of thing. You made her cry. 
You come over here, you yell at her, and you make her cry after you didn't just stand her up at the ball? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, didn't you? No. To me, it looked like you were very happy with your little date there. No, I wasn't. At least not until she fed me a love potion. Fed him a love potion? Yeah, I needed to do something in order to help him and to get Brian off of him. So she helped you with the love potion. And you're mad at her for saving you from Brian, who apparently all of a sudden now you're not happy with? All of a sudden, I've never been so, interested okay, in if Brian. you're not happy with Brian, she saves you and you come over here and yell at her for saving you? I know, and you're not, you're hardly complaining about Brian whatsoever. And if anything, mine helped you in your case Look, a little Brian's bit. Brian's a horrible person. It's just what you did is almost as bad as what he did. That is I not even close. I don't see the comparison at all. Using magic to force someone to fall in love? No, that's not to force you to fall in love. Kind of looked like that. Okay, well, it wasn't meant to make you fall in love with me, if anything. Fine. I'm just gonna go. Great, I'm glad. You know what? See ya. Excuse me. Go around! There's plenty of space on this path! You gonna move? Not until you apologize? Maybe she should apologize. Nah, you gotta apologize right now. Okay, I'm sorry for getting mind controlled. We right, good? Tyler. You're gonna be wow. like that. Yeah, I'm gonna be like uh, You're pulling out a sword on me. Really? Yeah. Can you can you guys just like not fight? It's just it's First whatever. So, so let me guess. Let me guess. So you are actually kinda hurt for her choosing me over you. Oh, after you said yes, after we talked about it. We did talk look, that was a mistake. What happened and to the whole bro that. code we had, huh? Guys, can you I'm not gonna just go against her. You know what? Clearly she wasn't like interested you, in you. I respect Why can't the we just we forget had? about so it? Right now, I really feel like I should kill you. No, 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 guys. Oh. Just oh, apologize. Oh, you are you? Apologize yeah. and we'll just forget uh, the whole thing. How bad thing. do you want to kill me? Go ahead, uh, tell me in detail. On a scale of nine to ten? Probably ten. Ooh, that's... Nine to ten's not a very large scale, actually, but... Yeah. That's, yeah. But that's fine. You recognize this sword, by the way? Yeah, it's a very nice sword. Y yeah, you want, you want to touch it? Remember what happens when you touch this sword, huh? I don't know. You won't even be able okay, to hit me no, with that sword. I don't think Bree, that. Bree, just stay out Bree, of this. I right? not get no, away. I don't think fighting is solving anything. We're not fighting. Like not what? Yet. Who yet. taught you guys that violence fixes anything? It really doesn't. And I feel like if we talked it Look, out, can it you would. just quit spitting your poison? So oh, we that's can... it. Nah. Really? Yeah, yeah, really. You guys need to stop fighting. Well, Zyla, you're lucky she did that. Oh, you're lucky. No, you're lucky. Hey, no, how about this? How about you just stay one. out of my side of the camp, go back to your side, no, go hang out with maybe Brian. I will. There, there's no, no sides. You know what, Zyla? We may share a father, but we're no longer brothers. <laughs> we never were. Um. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm just gonna Yep. Hey Bree, you in there? <laughs> what? Oh what's wrong? Nothing. No, don't cry, it's okay. Hey. Look at me. No, it's it's fine. No, look at me. What? It's okay. Oh, not really. What's wrong? Literally tried to blame me for trying to make things better. I probably didn't help either. I'm sorry. Mm, kind of. I just would have preferred you guys didn't fight, and I just wanted to talk things out, but he was dead set on fighting with violence, so... Uh, I mean, yeah, in, in fairness, that was kind of my fault, too. But I couldn't I just sit known. there and let him yell at you and 
hurt you like that. I should have known he wasn't gonna understand the reasoning for it. And he doesn't even understand that it's for the better of him and to stop Brian, if anything, and he's out of control. It's something to help him at the ball, help him snap out of the weapon after I realized that it was that. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. So everything's gonna be okay. You know, things happen for a reason sometimes. Hey, I got you a flower. I know okay. it's just a flower, but I needed to say sorry for somehow. And uh, I, I did. I thought you'd like a flower more than a cheeseburger, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. So yeah, I went, I went flower. I don't know what it, do you think I'm in the wrong? Tell me more about this love potion. I mean, it was so I gave him to it at the ball. So that that way he would not only be attracted to Brian, but more so everybody. So then that way Brian wouldn't have gotten his way and control and manipulate him for life cuz I'm pretty sure So you saved his life. Uh, pretty much, because the potion caused the sword to... It basically counteracts the sword, and the second a potion is applied, as soon as the potion runs out, the sword is ineffective, so... Yeah, I mean, so you saved him. Do you really think you're in the wrong for saving him? I don't think so, but I don't, I don't know why he is mad at me for helping him. Because it's Zylo. One thing why about is... Zylo, he has pride and he has ego. Why is he... But he doesn't realize that he's hurting me. No. Well, I hope he doesn't. I don't know. The things <sighs> I heard him say, I didn't hear much of you guys' conversation, but I, I, I don't know. Seeing him sit there and yell at you for things that you did, whether or not you deserved it or not, like, I don't know. No one should ever yell at anybody, especially you. <sighs> okay. I don't think you're in the wrong, though. Especially, you saved his life. You really did. I mean, I thought so, considering that he probably wouldn't have liked being underneath Brian's control for the rest of his life. No, I don't think anybody would. So. I mean, in my eyes, you saved him. I think I you did know. the right Hopefully move. Hopefully, he comes to understand that I literally broke it. And the, what's it called? The attachment that he had to Brian for the better of him. I don't know when he's going to come to realize that, though. I don't know. Apparently, uh, we're not on the best terms anymore either, so... Uh, he's uh, he's never my brother. I don't think he's thinking about anybody's feelings right now. Uh, I don't know. I know I struck first, technically, but he he really went for it. It kind of reminds me of what happened to his horse. He didn't realize that what you did was an accident, and he didn't even give a chance to hear you out and said some pretty hurtful things. Yeah. Yeah, that's just how he is, I guess. But I don't. I think if you wouldn't have stepped in today, one of us, if not both of us, would be dead right there. I don't think I would have liked that at all. I mean, yeah, your porch probably would have got really bloody. I'm not really concerned about my. Porch. You'd probably be the just... only like witness. So you'd have to go through the whole like lengthy process. It'd be a, it'd be a process for you. I just wouldn't want to have seen it. either of you guys dead. So. Yeah, yeah, that, that's also probably not a good thing. But I, I mean, I guess at least that problem's temporarily solved. Kind of, not really, but kind of. I. I guess I'm I, I don't know I'm just gonna get some rest I guess are you sure yeah well I don't, I don't know maybe we could we could go do something if you want lunch I didn't really get to get you the breakfast <laughs> yeah you're right actually I'm, I'm hungry let's let's go yeah come on let's just go get some lunch it'll be all good okay maybe it'll make you feel bad um... Um. It. Uh, this is your cabin, right? Bree. <gasps> I'm shutting my window.
Oh, ready? Oh. Oh, ooh. Ooh. No. Yeah. Standing up on the desk to shut the window. Ooh, almost the desk. <laughs> oh no. I don't know. The talk? The walk? Why don't you just hang out and have a wonderful evening? I will! <laughs> I'm not jealous.